What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. Since we moved to Kenya, we've been living right beside a coffee plantation and you guys know coffee's no good. I don't like coffee. So today we are moving to a tea farm right at the bottom of Mount Kenya. So we have just over two hour drive and yeah, hopefully there's not going to be a lot of traffic, but there's probably going to be a lot of traffic because it's, it's Friday, Friday afternoon. afternoon. We got this. We got this. We, we got, got snacks, <laughs> we got energy drinks. We're good to go. And we packed like we're, we're leaving for five months. It's because we had to bring all our food yeah. and water. Check it out. Do you think we have everything we need? I really feel like <laughs> we're actually short on food, but we're going to chance We'll it. see. Time Let's to go. Back. Let's go. Let's go. So just like most places we go, the last few kilometers are always on those very rocky roads. Like it's so rumbling. And random roads. Yeah. To us at least. Well, yeah. <laughs> looks like we're in the middle of nowhere, so hopefully we're on the right road. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure we're in the right spot because look at all the tea. We made it after only making one bad turn and now it's time to bring inside everything we brought which is way too much. And the most important thing, got our water. I underestimated the size of this fridge. Welcome to the tea farm. And you notice as soon as you drive in and park, there's tea right beside the house. That's pretty cool. So come on, let me show you around. We have a veranda out here that has its own fireplace for in the evenings because you're actually just at the bottom of Mount Kenya. So I'm suspecting it's gonna get pretty cool tonight is what I would think. So let's go inside. So when you walk in, I immediately get like the akatachi feel to it. And I really like it. You have a small kitchen here that we brought all of our food, mind the mess. <laughs> Um, you have a stove, you have all your utensils, you even have a blender. Like, how many Airbnbs have a blender? But, yes. And you have wine glasses, you even have a first aid kit, and it looks like a little med supply there, plus our contact numbers that we need throughout our stay. We have a little living area, lots of places to sit. So this place, I would say, you could probably bring one, two, three, at least three couples. Like, there's a lot of beds, as you're gonna see. Often here is one of the many bathrooms. And then when you come through here, we chose this one to be the main bedroom. So you have a queen size bed. And because it gets cold, I don't think we'll use it just because, well, I don't think we'll need to, but they actually have like a bed warmer electric blanket is what I assume it is. So you turn the switch on just about an hour before you want to go to bed, have a nice toasty bed. And, on sweet bathroom. Yes, it's me. I'm just gonna continue this uh, house tour because why not? I never do it. So in this room, there's something very weird. If you come in, you can see that there's like, you know, normal bed, little table and everything. But then there's this massive mirror there that makes not a lot of sense. And then, and then, whoo, it's not actually a mirror. There's just the same thing at the same place, but on the other side of the wall. I was very confused when I first came in. And what's funny, what makes it even more realistic is it's down to the flashlights are like directly across from each other. It's kind of funny. We had to laugh. So downstairs there's three double bed as you saw, but there's actually a second floor. If I can open it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> this is dangerous. <laughs> Too easy. So this is what I'm saying. There's more bedrooms and they're just kind of hidden. So if you don't eat them. I would say just like any second floor, 
where it's the attic, it is a lot warmer up here. So for us, we're not gonna sleep up here. But look, you have two beds again. And oh, look at the view outside there. That's super cool. You can wake up in the morning and look out the window and see the tea farm. So if you look just quickly throughout the house, you have three rooms, which is five beds. Each bedroom has their own bathroom. As you can see, there's a door around there, plus a bathroom that's not attached to a bedroom. I'd say that's pretty cool to bring a group here. So, and one of our favorite parts about this property, come follow me. Oh, and P.S. there's a barbecue there if you want to use it. <laughs> Is this landing here. So tonight, we're probably gonna start a fire, have some wine up here. Just look at your viewpoints. So you can't see it right now because the clouds are in the way, but I guess in the morning, right through there is where Mount Kenya is. So remember when we first came in and I said this place is located in the middle of a tea farm? This is what I meant. Now Tracy have been complaining for about half an hour that she's very hungry, so we're gonna start supper right about now. Supper, chicken breasts, vegetables, potatoes, squash. It's actually probably my favorite meal that we make that's like super clean and healthy. And easy to make too. Yeah, it is. And of course, wine, because you know. <laughs> That is so such a good wine. So we actually, when we went to Inti, um, we bought this wine. And, <laughs> and it was, it... <laughs> was 5,500 Kenyan shillings, so about $55 US. And it's only 17 US. Yeah. <laughs> we paid 1,700 Kenyan shilling at the store for it. Bon appétit. So the clouds are starting to clear and we can actually start to see the peak of Mount Kenya. Not quite the tip top, but the peak. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know So now we have a fire and we even have a couple of lanterns around I'm sorry but I like this Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs so I think it's time for bed. Woke up early this morning, a little tired, and tomorrow we have a cool activity plan. Can't wait to share it with you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna go back inside. Good night. See you in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> you still sleeping? No. It's time to wake up. <laughs> it's coffee time. Let's go eat outside in her favorite spot. Maybe this morning we're gonna have a better view of Mount Kenya too. Le let's see. So now that breakfast is done, we're gonna go take a shower and get ready for the day because we are gonna go on a little tour because today we're gonna learn how do they make tea from the tea farm to the cup. So right now we are walking towards the tea factory. So we're gonna see how the tea is made and later on we're gonna go to the field. So we're 
are about to head in and see how they make the tea. <laughs> Tracy Stern, do it like a pro. I can't do it like a pro. Do it. <laughs> do it. It is so much stronger than what we have in Canada, right? So out of all the teas you tried, I think this one is my favorite. The lightest one. It's very different than back in Canada. Like it's so strong. So strong. We do plaque it here. We do plaque this. Way. This, this. Okay. These are two leaves that are bad. Okay. You have to do it. Yeah. So that you, you have a photo. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's it. The question is, what to pluck? Like with that one, yeah, really? Yeah, that's even that's that's really alright. Do it with your two hands. It's funny how you can see yeah, it so fast, and I'm like, <laughs> this way. oh, this way. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> After going from the factory, which was super interesting, mm -hmm. we came back to where the house is. You can actually see the roof of it, yeah, right? All the way uh, back there. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we walked from one end of the farm to the other. And the, look the, at the view. The behind view us. is like. This is insane. Very nice. And Tracy actually plucked a few uh, few leaves. Probably yeah. not even enough to make one cup of tea. But yeah, no. Now she knows how. It's really cool, though. That's a minute. Yep. There you go. <laughs> oh my goodness, that smells so good. Passion fruit, it's a very good. Yeah. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now it's time to go all the way back there. lunch worked up an appetite walking around town <laughs> so we just came back from the farm and factory tour mm -hmm. and it was so interesting first of all like marini who took us around he's so proud of what they're doing in this community it just we were able to like feel it and yeah. that that brought a lot to the tour for sure yeah it did i'm just seeing like i've never done very many like factory tours or that type of thing no. so 
It was very cool, and especially to start with the tasting. I know yeah. some people you probably want to end with it, but I enjoyed starting with it because then you can see how it goes from like the green leaf to what it actually is that I just yeah. drank. Yeah, and for the rest of my life, I'm going to have so much more appreciation every time I see a cup of tea. It is so much work. Yeah. The farmers are working so hard all day long to like pick up those leaves, mm -hmm. and then it goes to the factory, and there are so many different steps as we were able to see so many different conveyor that transform the leave mm -hmm. to basically what you're able to put in a tea bag and eventually drink. Yeah, and being able to like kind of pick the tea yeah. as well. It's so funny because to me, like, especially at first, everything looked the same. Like, yes, there's different, like, darker and lighter, but it's the way you pick it. With what it's two leaves and a bud is, like, the yeah, best yeah. way to pick it. Yeah. But, like, you can tell Marini looks at it, and, like, he just sees he just him like that. As if it's, like, like a like, popping wow. red strawberry. Yeah, because I really thought that, like, you could just pick any leaf yeah. on the entire thing. I thought it was, like, for size not, or color. No, or it like, has nothing to do because you can't touch the bottom of the bush. Basically, you're just picking up the new sprouts yeah. in a way. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway, it was really, really interesting. Yeah, and... Oh, yeah. We got a bag of tea. Yeah. From that factory, like, yeah. from where they manufacture it. Yeah. So that's super cool. I was very, very impressed. It kind of gave me, like, a new appreciation for, like, the community that's here, too. And yeah, exactly. He's, very, he's a very well-respected person. Like, oh, yeah, you here. could tell, yeah. Yeah, like, he knows everyone. Everyone's, like, saying hi. And, yeah. Like, I don't know. Yeah, and as much as we love doing those, all those luxury things and everything, it's super, it's so interesting yeah. to go into communities. Here, it's it's a big, big, big tea community, and everyone is doing some job that's yeah. pretty much related to tea. The, the tea production. So, yeah. anyway, it was very interesting. It was very good. Yeah. So, just beside the cottage... On, on, on the lawn, there's actually a, a badminton net. We're gonna play some badminton. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I hit it and I was like looking up and I was like, where is it? And it was stuck in it. So I'm glad that today we both learned something. We are terrible at badminton. I still like it though. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a childhood memory yeah, for me. It's fun, oh, but well. there, there, there's a lot of space for us to be better at it. Absolutely. <laughs> Even though it does look like all fun and giggles, then we still have to take a few hours today to work on future vlogs and edit and Trace is going to write another blog and that kind of stuff. So, you know, it never stops. It never stops. But can't complain. Can't complain. I mean, look at this view. There's nothing to complain about. What you got there? Some uh, working aids? Yeah. <laughs> it's only glass. So, we are back inside. We took a shower. Get all the sunscreen Looking on. good now. <laughs> Actually, more like the comfy clothes, no makeup yeah. look. No uh, shame. No. Just for, just for us to see in a few tens of thousands of people. Accept it or not. <laughs> so now we're gonna make supper and yeah, go back to our uh, little spot. I in front really of the house. enjoy that. It's a spot. it's really nice. It's really nice. Like night, morning, midday. Yeah. Like it's a. Perfect I just spot. wish we could see uh, the sun, like sunset, because there's like big trees and yeah. we can't really see it. But you can still see like Mount Kenya's at a distance and everything, so it's very nice. I think we, as much as I don't want to get up early tomorrow. I know, right? But I think you can see sunrise. Yeah, well, yeah, because it'd be on the other side. Onto we'll Mount see. Kenya. Maybe not. Maybe you will, maybe not. Eh. <laughs> we'll decide later. Let's make supper. So, my favorite thing about this place first of all, they have white wine glasses, but they even have a red wine glass. And people who love wine, you'll understand. Look at these bad boys. Cheers. Cheers. You are not going to cheers. It's this is good. the one we had in our live. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Did you guys watch that? <laughs> so what do we have for supper? Avocado, ground beef, broccoli and potatoes. So we are gonna enjoy our little supper on that little 
patio or something like that. We really like this spot. And then after that, we'll continue enjoying a glass of wine, maybe having a little uh, fire just like yesterday. And we'll catch you guys back up in the morning. Good morning guys, we just woke up and this morning the uh, caretaker for this Airbnb Bonfast is actually gonna take us to the forest and to a waterfall. I have no clue what to expect, so yeah, I guess we're, we're gonna know if it's worth it or not in a few minutes. probably don't have to clean and do the dishes and everything but I just I don't know I feel like it's the right thing to do so we always do when we visit an Airbnb or things like that so. it is now time for us to leave but before we leave as usual we're gonna give you our final thoughts about the tea cottage Airbnb and by the way if you ever want to rent an Airbnb don't forget to use our code it helps, it doesn't cost you anything, and because of that, we can rent other Airbnbs, so you know, much appreciated. So after two nights at the tea cottage, I have to say, it was really nice. The, the house itself is perfect for you and a bunch of your friends, to be honest, because there, there's quite a bit of beds, there's quite a bit of space too. Uh, I wouldn't go with five couples, even though there's five beds, just because the common areas, I mean, they're no, not No, I'd say big. like, yeah, and especially, we lucked out, I don't know what the weather's normally like here, but like, we never had a drop of rain, so we were outside all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but something that I find has changed with us, or maybe it's the hospitality that's different mm -hmm. that I enjoy, is, like, when we have always traveled, we always wanted our own space. We yeah. always, yeah. like, just didn't want to come in contact with people. But the people that we have met through Airbnbs here, they've added an extra element to our trip. Yeah that we didn't even know was possible and it's not over the top or anything like no, no, that like just enough you kind of plan it when just you first yeah arrive. just to make your trip more special the two caretakers for uh, this specific airbnbs yeah. because of them we were able to like see the community and go go to the tea farms and the tea factory that was an amazing experience yeah completely amazing because yeah. this community here in yeri literally lives uh, from the, the tea production yeah. so to be able to see them work and see how it works and see mm -hmm. the tea literally from the leaf to the cup of tea like that was very interesting yeah not only that there's things to do on the property like play pim badminton there's a dartboard oh we didn't play darts no but true. this this little area that you see us sitting that's our now, favorite like, that is amazing yeah. with they the come little and fireplace it. at night there and yeah we were, and they we even had, come and light it for you yeah like, we had all our meals uh, here yeah. and I tried to light the fire yesterday, but it wasn't lasting very long. I'm not that great apparently. No, it burned. Really Monfast was really good at doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, yeah. it was a very good experience. I cannot recommend this place enough. So it's called the Tea Cottage, Cottage. yeah. And I'm gonna link their Instagram uh, down below as well. It's probably the yeah. easiest way to find them because sometimes on Airbnb you put the Tea Cottage, you can't find it. Whatever, just yeah. check their Instagram. Super easy. One more thing. So sometimes when you stay at Airbnbs, you guys have questions about security. Yeah. Um, I feel perfectly safe here and it's probably our most not rural place that we've yeah. ever stayed. Like there's roads right around it because it's kind of on a corner. But I feel perfectly safe. There's actually two gates because the farmers need to get in for like the tea portion. Yep. And then there's even another gate for like the house and everything. Yeah. And I have, I have to say like I've never felt... No, no, you can lock the entire house and everything. Oh like... yeah, like even the bedroom, like yeah. you can lock the main door, the bedroom, yeah. like it. Anyways. We felt completely safe. So Very I know good. sometimes you guys ask, there's your answer. Yeah. 10 out of 10 security. Yeah. So anyway, now we got to drive about three hours back to home in Nairobi. So we're going to do that right now, even though I don't feel like it because it's too hot to drive. Oh, but guess what we have for the car? <laughs> I don't know. Your favorite thing. Oh, a monster? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Should guys. Be okay. <laughs> yeah. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next one. In the next one. <laughs> What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. And you know, since we've moved in Kenya, since we've this, this, which is just at the bottom, the bottom of the bottom. Since we've moved to Kenya, we've this, 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 this. Okay, one last time. One last, this is it, this is it. Get ready, because this is it. I'm ready. I underestimated, overestimated. I underestimated, overestimated. Under. I underestimated the size of this bridge.